Welcome. We are about to begin an exciting exploration of the parables of Jesus. One of the things that makes this study so interesting is that the parables represent the heart of the gospel. The major elements of Jesus' teaching are found in these short, interesting, and sometimes a little confusing stories. Some scholars have referred to them as the gospel in miniature, or the gospel in a nutshell. They are a wonderful summary of what Jesus taught during his ministry among us. In a way, studying Jesus' parables is like doing a survey of Jesus' teachings in the gospel. Even though for some of you, these will be familiar stories, we may have heard them since we were children in Sunday school, I encourage you to approach them as if you are hearing them for the first time. I hope you can be struck by the parts of the parable that are unusual and ask yourself about the elements in the story that raise questions in your mind. Note if there was something in the parable that you hadn't noticed before. Listen for nuances, details, and especially difficulties that make the story even more intriguing. I know that I may have read one of the parables 20 times, and then when I read it the 21st time, I see an element in it that I never noticed before. Or maybe I see it from a different perspective, and there's another deeper understanding of what this story is saying. Sometimes we approach parables as if they were puzzles to be solved. But like the crossword puzzle or the Sudoku we just solved, we may just set it aside and let it go. Jesus' parables aren't puzzles. They are stories of surprising depth and meaning. And just when we think we have solved a parable, it might speak to us with a new and deeper understanding. One of the goals of this study is to help all of us be more open to hear a new message, or perhaps a more nuanced, or perhaps more complex appreciation of the parables. As you take out the resource book at home and begin to prepare for each session, please begin with prayer. You may want to ask for God's guidance with you as you read the scriptures and the related materials. Maybe ask God to help you approach these parables with an open heart and mind and spirit so that you can hear all that the gospel is saying to you. And I especially hope that you will ask how these stories apply to your life, how they may affect your faith, your values, your everyday decisions. What subtle or overt message might these stories have that speaks to you? But most of all, enjoy this journey together, exploring what God may want to say to you. You are not traveling alone. Others who take their faith seriously are going along with you. You will have some fascinating discussions and you will share some important insights. And the spirit of Christ is with you. Jesus said, for where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Enjoy this journey together.